Hi, Sandy. Hi, Leanne. Oh, you're very welcome. Trust me, I needed, I needed this time too also. So, <laughs> yeah. So my mom should actually be in the chat at some point. Um, I just like tagged her. Midnight Chances Rose is who she, her Facebook name is. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Diane. Good to see you guys too. Hi, Luann. Hi, Angie. Hi, Shirley. Okay, so my mom should be in the chat at some point. She's kind of like technologically not good with that, but I will send her another thing just in case. So my mom got moved to the cardiac unit tonight. So they took her from the overflow where the ER was. And so now she's up there and we're gonna go see her tomorrow. So I'll be able to take the kids and my brother and my husband, we're gonna go drive up to the hospital where she's like two hours away. And we'll be able to spend some time with, their, with her up there before anything happens because the um, procedure is probably gonna happen around either Monday or Tuesday. So, cause it hasn't exactly been scheduled due to there's like a long list of people apparently who have to have the same sort of surgery. So yes. Hi Angie. Hi Ian. Yeah, I know. Didn't expect to see me tonight. Yeah, there was because nothing's happened with my mom yet and there's not anything I can do and this is helping to take my mind off of everything. So hi Sandy. Hi Jan. Hi Teresa. Oh, thank you. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Angie. Okay. So I did send her a thing. Where is she? <laughs> she like got off Facebook. Hold on. Okay. All right, ladies, so let's see. Hi, Carla. Hi, Anne. Hi, Phelan. Hi, Cindy. Hugs and prayers coming your way, Tim. We've got you in our thoughts. Thank you, Sharon. Hi, J.E. All right, ladies. So I guess we'll start just kind of going on and doing this while my, if my mom pops in, as I said, her name was the Midnight Chances Rose. She is in the hospital, so I don't know if they like, or in there doing something at the moment with her but let's go ahead and go ahead and i guess start with this this is something that shirley sent me because i've talked about how lovely this wig is and this is the noriko this is the sky and this is in the color midnight pearl Where is it? there we go midnight pearl which you can't see it's just not wanting to come together <laughs> But that's okay. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Kay. Hi, Gail. Oh, thank you for sharing. Oh, thank you for sending prayers, Jan. Uh, use code Allison35 and save 35% on any MV wig. It says there's the link for it. Saturday party with me. Hi, Colleen. All right. So I was just starting with this because I love this wig and I've talked about it a bunch of times. And I really love that Shirley sent it to me because it's just, it's, I love it. If you're interested in this one at all, it's just a basic machine cap. It's super easy. It's just a very easy throw and go and that's it. She's just a lovely piece. So pretty. Okay. So I do also have the new Aesthetica wigs that I can go over briefly for everyone if people would like to see that. Otherwise, I can just do the Envy wigs, whichever you guys would like. Hi, Marlene. So glad you're able to come on. Okay, well. I don't know what's going on with my mom. She was supposed to come on and watch. Maybe she's, like I said, she might be kind of busy or something. I'm not sure. Hi, Vonda. Okay, well. Let me show these Aesthetica ones because I know everyone was interested in them to begin with. Hi, Marissa. So this right here is the new 7. This is part of the new Heat Defiant one, and this is in the color RH14-88. Uh, yeah, so this is the long, wavy one. I did brush it out, and the fibers are quite soft. You can see 
it is an unrooted blonde and I guess I should have gotten the other ones out there or the non-regular synthetics or the reg this is the heat defiant let me go get the regular synthetic to show you the difference sorry I might be a little scatterbrained Okay. Are those heat friendly? Yes, Shonda. Yes, the four newest static are heat defiant. That's correct. So here we go. This is, like I said, the 1488. And this one here is the heat defiant. This is the color, if you're familiar with it, not heat defiant. So this is going to be your regular synthetic. This is your heat defiant. This is the exact same color. So you can see this one has where the blondes on it are, in my opinion, they are like, there's a brighter pop of color, but there's still the dimension and it's not as shiny, but the same kind of color definitely comes through. What is the curly one you are just holding? That's this one right here. This is seven. This is Julie. This is the new um, Aesthetica one. Let me go over the cap for you guys and I can put her on for you. So she's got a lace front and a left-sided lace part. She's open wefted and it has the same sort of cap construction, but there's new bits to it. This is Velcro right here now. They don't have the hook and eye closure anymore. And so that is a new upgrade to it, but it being open on the nape and open on the cap and on the ear tabs is the same. So at least the straps won't come undone over and over and over because I always had where they would unhook themselves. Hi, Carolyn. So here is what she looks like on, this is the unrooted blonde. They do have rooted ones like Sunlit. I will be having a Sunlit in Brighton come. So that way you guys can see that one. And Shirley's gonna let you use Allison 35 to save 30%, 35% on these two. So that is Allison, A-L-L-I-S-O-N 35. So this one here, you can hear is the lace front. You can see here is the difference in the blonde as compared to this one. You can see how much brighter, almost like ashier it is in the front. So it gives a very blonde look to the front. Oh, wow. Seven is stunning on you. Thank you, Marlene. Yes, Allison 35 for a 35% off discount. Thank you. She is beautiful, Julie. So here she is. You can see there's quite a bit there to work with and it is heat defiant so you can easily straighten it or change the curl pattern if you so desire. And I will say one of the first things I noticed about these when they came out is that these are more petite snug fitting than the regular Aestheticas. The cap itself is definitely not as giving but they're not uncomfortable for somebody who has an average sized head. All right, and then I have, this is James, the new one of the um, Heat Defiant collection, and this is R302826. So this is like their most red one, and I have her in Haven, the same color, so you can see it from a regular synthetic. So here is, right here is the Heat Defiant one, and this is the synthetic one, regular synthetic and it is the same color. So when they, you can see that this one right here is a little bit more red looking and that is because the processing that HD fibers go through can sometimes change the color a little bit. So James also has the new Velcro here also. James is a full monofilament and I will want, I'll say one thing, these HD fibers are incredibly soft. Hi, Eileen. Yes, I agree. They feel true average, but smaller than the regular synthetic fibers. Absolutely, Marlene, 100%. Open wefted is the same. The, the extended nape that's open also, the ear tabs that are open, but like I said, the addition of Velcro, which is a new plus to it. So mine has a bit of box hair. I'm going to take this off. So when I put it on, I haven't done any heat because I, I just really haven't had time with everything going on. Um, so it's going to look kind of funky, but I can make it look as normal as possible. 
So as you can see, it's got a bit of box hair and I just haven't had time to really fix it. Let's see. I know Marlene, you complained about it, yours having some box hair also. So this is the James. James is stunning. Oh, I absolutely agree, Marlene. Are they big head friendly? Um, I, I took mine in all the way because I actually like the sensation of them being quite tight, but um, it does still give, it just feels smaller than the regular Aesthetica synthetics. They fit your average up to a 22. Oh, okay, says Marlene. But yeah, here's the bit of box hair, but you can see the difference in the color. Here is James. Her fibers are incredibly soft. They are like, honestly, they, it's so silky soft for being a heat defiant fiber. Yep, there's James with Shirley's link in her. Yeah, no, it's just, I'm petting them, Shirley, because they feel so nice. <laughs> but no, this, this is a really nice one. Mine came with box hair, as I said. It does have where it could be worn as bangs. As you see, this piece right here, you can, I should have put it, just leave it on. Here, I'll show you. So I know there are quite a few ladies that really love the bangs. So this one does, like I said, it has the pieces that you can easily take them down and make them bangs, and then you can cut them to length if you'd like, because they are definitely there. You can see right here. There's some bang length in there if you would like to cut it to your specific one. You can see the whoop. <laughs> Yes, mine had box hair, but a little bit of water took care of it. The fibers are amazing. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. Do you have the color R12? I No, Shauna, I don't. Um, I was only able to pick two the one time that they sent them to me, and I picked ones where I had other Aesthetica colors. That way um, I could compare them for you guys. I just didn't have one already. Hi, Terry. Is James dense? Um, no, I don't think so. You can see here's well i would say she's like a, a full head of hair she's not and you can see there she's got she's not too thick she doesn't feel heavy on the head um i don't feel like i'm drowning in hair nothing like that she's comfortable and there's just enough hair here so also like the wefting doesn't like pop through very easily so you could definitely put her up like this and it would still be comfortable i don't think she feels she's not low density but she's not high density she's not un, she's not uncomfortable let me put it that way pet those wigs they're happy right shirley uh you may want to ask someone with a 22 and a half inch i have a 21 and a half inch and really have no way of gauging the true size that's just my guess uh yeah i have a 21 and three quarter which is not very much bigger than marlene's but i would think that's the one thing the first thing i noticed was that when I put on the new HD wigs, they were snugger immediately. Is that because, like for instance, this Verona that I have, which is a regular synthetic one, and it has the same Aesthetica basic cap we're used to, um, it stretches quite a lot even after I have put it on and tightened it all the way, you can go like this, you, and there's so much room in there. Um, the other, I didn't get that same kind of stretch that, I mean, it's like with them. Let's see. So if I put James on, I don't think I took her in at all. I did. So I will show you because I took Verona in all the way. I cinched her all the way in because it was completely necessary for me to be able to wear her that when I did the same to James, which is taking it in all the way, if I then take her and stretch her, you can see it does not stretch as much. Now, could you fit a 22 in here? I, I think so, but I think anything beyond that would probably be, be too much. Um, unless you undid it all the way, let me see. Try and gauge that for you. She does stretch more, that's for sure, like to the sides and out. You can go all the way up with her. You can see it does. I think, honestly, I think maybe a 22 and a half would be the, the max, would be my guess. If 
I had to estimate that. Hi, Carolyn. No, my mom's doing good. As far as I know, she is fine. And she was supposed to join the live. I don't know if she's maybe taking a shower or they're doing meds or something. I'm not quite sure, but she should be in here at some point. So I'll let you guys know. Her Facebook name is Midnight Chances Rose. I mean, I can try sending it out to her again, potentially. But um, she uh, has been doing good. I've been talking to her um, like throughout the day for quite a while. And it's just conversations that are, you know, kind of odd heavy. So James weighs less than six ounces, so not very heavy. Absolutely, Shirley. I agree with you about the density. I was able to tuck it easily. Right, Marlene? The, the, the fibers are fantastic for being heat defiant. Absolutely. Shame they snugged up the caps, says Diane. Yeah. You're very welcome, Colleen. Oh, well, smaller sizes save me. <laughs> right, Eileen? <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Good morning from Australia. Well, almost, basically, good night from here from Georgia. <laughs> All right. So now let's go ahead and move on to the MB. And I have to tell you guys, unless somebody wants to see those, I will keep them right here just in case. That, um, okay, if you don't have an Envy wig or you've never had one before, oh goodness, it's like you've been sleeping on it. I have only tried like one color from Envy before, okay? <laughs> it's the lighter red because it's just so gorgeous. I can't seem to step away from it. That... I tried a whole bunch of new colors. Obviously, you guys are just going to see them all, but I am so shocked at how gorgeous they all are. Like, I was, I tried another one on and another one and another one. The wigs are fantastic. So I'm going to start with the new release, and that is Gia Mono. I have a regular Gia that I can also show you. That way, you guys can see what exactly the difference is. They are in two different colors, but that's okay. Uh, well, tell her... Prayer going away. Oh, thank you, Terry. Good morning, Lisa. Thanks for joining us, says Shirley. All right. So this one right here is the Gia Mono, and I've got her in, I believe this is silky beige. Yes, silky beige. So here is the full mono. It does have like a nice little liner on here. I guess to help with the realism on the scalp. It also has a nice velvet ear tabs. You can feel the lace through. It's open wefted and very stretchy. It's an extended velvet nape, and they use the pull type adjusters on these wigs. So here's a close up on the lace front here. You can see it's got where it's got some scalloping with that, and there's a little bit of silicone here and the lace front. So the, this color is a really pretty, beautiful, neutral blonde, and it does have a significantly dark root is what I would call it. I mean, it's a dark brown, probably a four, but it does have the mixing of the blondes through it, almost like where it looks like little gray hairs coming through. It's an, it's really a beautiful color. Hi, Dominica. Thank you. Giamano by Envy. Yep. Silky Beige. Use Allison 35 to get, to save 35% off of it. Beautiful full mono. Absolutely, Marlene. The newer MV fibers feel nice. They honestly, I all of these feel amazing, like straight up. They are so beautiful. The color is amazing. The style is is it's fantastic. Like here's the lace front, and obviously there's a hair. And because they're dark, the knots on the top here, at least in this color, it it does you can see them. But beyond that, if you're somebody who likes wearing your hair. Like this, it, I mean, it's, this is a super cute style. It's very full and bouncy. The color is, I think it's extremely realistic. Hi, Allison. Good to see you and continue prayers for your mom. Thank you, Tony. Is Gia Mono up to a 30, 23 and a half? Um, so I didn't take this in at all. It's all the way extended. Um, and it, it does not give very much on me. I, I think a 22 is really about where this is. This one's going to go. Uh, so cute on you, Allison. Thank you, Kathleen. Hi. I don't know if I said hi to you when you came in. I'd love to hear everyone's favorite Envy colors as we do have a wig we are going to make with them this year. Okay. So, guys, pay attention. We'll do a poll at the end of this. Like, I'll ask. And that way, if you need me to compare ones, I can do it for you while we're here. 
Oh, you love it? Marlene, thank you. No, I really love this too. That's why I used it as the announcement picture. I thought it was so pretty. You're very welcome, Gail. Okay. So here is... Oh, and before we go any further, all of these are not heat safe. When I get to the human hair blend ones that I have, I will let you know that those are heat safe, but until then, none of these are heat safe. Other than Beltrez, I don't think most wigs will go beyond, yeah, 23 and a half. That, yeah, absolutely, surely. Lighter red is your favorite. Yes, that's how I feel, but there are some that I tried on today, Kathleen, that they are so, they, it's stunning. The, some of them are just so beautiful. So this is the regular Gia, and you can see the style is different. And this is the color creamed coffee. So this is what a basic Gia looks like. The cap is is a basic cap, machine made, and it has velour on the top here, and this is all permatease that you can see. It's open wefted, it's stretchy, it has a lace nape and pull type adjusters, and the ear tabs are also lace with some, with some hair sewn on. So I, you can imagine, you see this, it's nice and it's voluminous, very pretty. Let me put this on, I'll show you that the style is pretty, it's pretty different in my opinion. I really love that one. This one, isn't my favorite. The color is amazing, however. But in this one's mine. If you're wondering, I have played with it. I've done all kinds of stuff to it. This is a super easy wig to style. It's just the style's not the same, as you can see. Like this one is very much like poofy and it's very voluminous and pretty. And I have not added heat to this or anything. And this is what it came like. So this one. I love the style on, and I love the addition of the mono top. This is not uncomfortable, it's just a different style. It's the same, it's a Gia regular as a Gia mono, but the style looks different. I have Madison and Sahara Blonde. Ooh, pretty Marissa. Gia mono being smaller saves me from buying a fifth Gia, says Eileen, you right? <laughs> I love the one you have on. Oh, thank you, Margaret. Now, so cream coffee is a stunning color. It's so pretty. The way I would describe this is, I don't know how, yeah, it comes across really well. This color to me is like the perfect autumn color. It's like all the crushed leaves on the ground and it's like, it's raining and it's autumn. That's what this says to me. Like, it's like the crunch and the smell of leaves, if that makes sense. I do have a Gia and Irish Spice and she is much fuller than the one you have on, right? See, like I, I didn't do anything to this and this is what she came looking like. That's why I thought that seems kind of, mm. I like that one. You Oh, thank you, Linda. I have the cream coffee on one of their human blends, and I just love the color. Yes, I actually do have it on there, and I can show you. Oh, there's my mom. Can't can't see you, and it made me sign in. Oh, sorry. Yeah, if you want to comment, I think you do have to sign in. But I can see you, Mom. So my mom's in the comments right now as Midnight Chances Rose. Creamed coffee is your favorite. Ooh, that's good. Vicky is so pretty. <laughs> Creamed coffee is pretty. Yes. So... I will put this one on later when I get to the actual um, hair blends. This one is the hair blend and it is creamed coffee. So you can see it goes it really well. It's so pretty as like the tra translation of color is fantastic. They both have a darker root. They both have this amazing like autumn color. It's, it's so pretty. <laughs> but I will go over that one more specifically. All right, so there's the regular Gia. Hi, Debbie. Love the new Gia, says Anne. Yes, I will put her back on real quick because honestly, she's so pretty. I do have a cinnamon raisin, Marlene, to show. Absolutely. So here is apparently what Gia should look like at all times. I don't know what's wrong with mine, but so here we are. One more look and then we'll move on. So she is super full, super pretty above the shoulders. So there's no snaggling. The new mono, you can have more styling of a... Uh, versatility because in this one on a regular one it's like I said full machine and it's just what you can do with right here all right so let's go and look at some more lovely ladies all right this one is dropping your hair mat this is Bobby I believe let's see Yes, this is Bobby, and this is in Champagne Shadow. So this is another blonde that is rooted. So they have quite a few. There's like six, and then they have like ones that are also brown that have been rooted. 
that are super pretty. They look highly realistic. So I'd never actually seen this wig before and it's, it's really quite beautiful. Like I'm, I don't know, I think I might've found like another hair brand that I'm super obsessed with. So it's a full mono. Here's the scalloped lace edge on the lace front that goes ear to ear. Here are the ear tabs that are covered with some hair for some extra realism and it is lace. Here is open wefted. There's not an extended nape and this is not velvet right here. It's like um, like a soft canvas material. And then there is the pull type adjusters. Uh, hi, Allison's mom. Thinking of you, says Terry. Thank you. Midnight Chances Rose. Yay. Hi, Tammy. Thinking of you, says Sharon. Many prayers, Tammy. God bless, says Dean. Thank you, Dean. Uh, Shirley says, hi, Tammy. Praying everything goes well and your patience holds up. Margaret says, hi, Tammy. Oh, sending prayers. Thank you. Diane says, hi, Tammy. We're all keeping in your thoughts and prayers. Thank you. Vicki says, prayers, Tammy. Been thinking of you. Marlene says, Bobby's a beautiful style. Absolutely. Angie says, hope you're feeling better. Al's mom. Uh, Brenda says, hi. Allison, Tammy continues to be in my prayers. Oh, thank you so much, Brenda. I don't know where my mom went. <laughs> she is in the hospital, so the... um. The Wi-Fi might be spotty is also per could be what part of the issue is. But I love this. This is so pretty, guys. Oh, there, tag. There we go. Okay. So she has a full mono, so you can put this back. And I know she's got these full bangs in your face. They're these beautiful uh, curtain bangs. But this is just... Like, it feels like bombshell hair. It's super glamorous. You can easily get in there and move her if you want. Let's see. I just can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Here she is to the side. So she's got quite a bit of volume on the top from those curtain bangs and the way these fibers want to lay. Super pretty color. Here is the difference between the um, silky beige and the champagne shadow so you can see champagne shadow is definitely warmer than the silky beige gorgeous oh absolutely margaret absolutely 100 percent agree uh, right colleen she's so beautiful thank you debbie kathleen says been hi tammy praying for you and rooting for you allison has shared what's going on with us all the best thank you thank you kathleen Oh, thank you so much, Marlene. Hi, Julia. Shared twice prayers for your mother. Thank you so much for sharing, Julia. Hope all goes well with your mom. Yeah. Thank you, Linda. All right. So here she is. This is long enough where you can put her up also. She'd be so pretty to style up, especially if you put the bangs like this. You could easily put her up all the way in a very nice, like swooped updo quite easily. And her fibers are fantastic. You can easily, as you just saw, I can part her and the line is relatively clean. I just don't want my hands are going. You can see there's the part, very easy. She's just got a lot of volume if that's what you want. Thank you for sharing, Dominica. All right. So I did share some of these with my mom already. I like went live with her on my phone. I like video called her and showed her some of these and she was like, oh, that's, I love that. That's so cute. Oh, I love that. <laughs> that one should be called Stop Traffic, right, Sharon? <sighs> Thank you for sharing, Kathleen. This one my mom liked. So this one is London and this is in the style, or excuse me, color Mocha Frost. Here's the lace front with the left-sided lace part. It does also have that extra lining. As you see, there's the little bit of scalloping and there's, you can see it's almost like kind of yellow looking and that would be the extra lining. It's open wafted and stretchy. This is velvet right here, but it's not extended. It's just, it's like maybe like half of an extended. <laughs> the pull type adjusters again, and then the velvet ear tabs that are moldable. This color is super pretty. Here we go. So she's a very easy style. In my opinion, you can throw and go. She's up above the shoulders, as you can see, and it just very clean, straight line on both sides. 
super easy to just put her on and she doesn't want a face flop which is like an a1 plus sort of thing for me anyways but this color i did take pictures during um the day to get like natural lighting and this color comes off as a it's like a nice beautiful warm sort of blonde that borders on being like a light brown it's so pretty and like the natural highlights that have it has running through it it's i mean these these colors are so beautiful that's a perfect bob right kathleen like it's so beautiful and says very classic looking absolutely yes and this is very lightweight feeling and you can if you wanted to you could manage to pull it back probably just a little but it isn't really quite long enough all the way marlene says so pretty i've never had it but appears easy to wear and sleek it it really is marlene i think you'd actually really love this style like from all the ones that i know you love like lobs and bobs and whatnot this is a stunning, stunning style. Super easy to manage and wear. You can see, come through here. We're to put like a little wig hairspray or something or a little pomade stuff and just keep it up like that. It already, auto, it already wants to stay here. That's how good it is. The MB fibers seem so soft and nice. No, they really are. They are incredibly silky soft and it, they're really beautiful. I was floored let me just say i haven't felt so gorgeous in that many colors and styles in a long time from one brand i've this many coming through like they're they're fantastic they're so beautiful oh yes that is right up my alley put in your request put in your request who are you talking to shirley what request <laughs> gorgeous says sandra thank you Oh, yes, right up rally. Yep, absolutely, Marlene, 100%. All right, so here's a lighter red for anyone who's never seen it before. This is one of my favorite Embry colors because, I mean, do you see it? Like, it's so pretty. This is Maya, and this is in lighter red. So Maya has a full monofilament, and she also has that, like, um, double feature. You can see there's the scalloped lace. I've never tried this brand. Are they caps average or big head friendly? I would say these run average for sure uh tony yummy says kathleen right Ooh, eileen Ooh. <laughs> so she's open wafted all the way this is velvet here with pull type adjusters and these are the velvet ear tabs that are moldable so this is just i i just every time i put on this color i just i can't get enough This color is so pretty. You can see all the dimension in there, how there is so many different kinds of red and blondes, and there's some like browns. Does any discounts on Trezalore? No, not right today, Wendy. We're doing um Envy right now. Um, Eileen, you are Envy, don't you? says Marlene. And of course, this this to me just looks the density on this one is a lighter density and the wave pattern I feel like is a very realistic and easy to manage one. This is just just long enough where you can pull her back too and have like a little pretty curl hang out and it's not going to flop in your face. I've got one Envy wig, Haley, and it's very comfortable cap on my 22 inch head. I really like London. I'm thinking of getting that one. Ooh, Kelly. These wigs look perfect right out of the box. They really are, Sandra. I'm, I'm not even kidding. I haven't done anything to these at all. I, I used them for content earlier, and I some of them I've maybe brushed a little, and I've kind of messed with the mono top, but that's about it. Mermaid hair says Anne, 100%. I agree. Debbie says purse for Tammy. Thank you, Debbie. Yes, Marlene. I have many Envy styles. Coco was the only one that was a bit small on me, says Eileen. I do have a Coco to show, too. Oh, my husband likes it. <laughs> yes, the red is so gorgeous. I have this one in a Brianna and then two of the, the like hair blend ones. It's so pretty. Here's a close up of the color if anyone wanted to see more. You can see how it like becomes, there's like deepness and there's highlights in there and how there's the dimensionality in the fibers. There are so many different like reds in there. It's in blondes and like it's a little bit deeper and brighter. It's so pretty. All right, so now here is, here's Coco, and I have her in medium gray. My mom also really loved this one, as she's been loving the grays recently. 
Beautiful cubbies, uh, color says Debbie. Thank you. Eileen has 23 inch and wears Envy for anyone who needs size reference. Oh, okay, says Marlene. Or, all right, that, that means that a large, if they are large head friendly then. Here is lace front, left sided lace part. It does have the like double feature. Here you can see the different color. Oh darn, what wig and color was the last one? Oh, surely that was um, the last one, the red one that was Maya in lighter red. This one right here is Coco in um, medium, yes, medium gray. Open wefted, extended velvet nape here and the pull type adjusters, velvet ear tabs that are moldable. So this one kind of reminds me a little bit of the Gia Monos like kind of style, except it isn't as, it doesn't have like a full mono. And so it has the left sided lace part for people who don't want a full mono. Where it's like in my eye. There we go. You can see she's up there. She's got the same sort of beautiful full style. And of course this color is super pretty. It's very natural for gray. You can see it's got the dimensionality with the darker grays and the lighter grays mixed there is no rooting so it is incredibly natural looking in that regard and let's see with the style this one compared to it you can see that it does have the same length let me put it like that this one i think is fuller and it comes out more like this as opposed to this one kind of comes down and then comes up I think is the difference. Could you floof this one? Probably. But the Gia Monos is definitely like this in comparison. Yeah, just let's see. And there's not very much permatees. If there is, there's just some right here. There's definitely none on the wefting. So you could get a little bit more volume on the top and that's about it. There you go. Allison 35 to get your Maya on sale. Here's the cocoa in medium gray. And I do have another gray that's rooted that is very similar to the Aesthetica one too. We'll get to that one. Okay, let's see. So did anyone notice that I changed the room around? The treadmill's gone. So Coco by Envy in the color, yes, medium brown, Shirley, absolutely. All right, so this is Joy, and this is in the color Almond Breeze, and this color is super natural and pretty. I think if you're somebody who likes the brown sugar sweet cream and that whole vibe, this is very natural, and the blend is very highly dimensional. So you can see, let me just show you real quick. So the, la the, no, no, no. the lace front is lighter. You can see those hairs there, so the rooting and the knotting there will be very light and look hyper realistic. And then you have where they come through from the main body and they mix through. And then down here, where the card is, you can see that the nape is not highlighted. So it's very natural in the way that a lot of people's hair tends to grow out. Yes, Coco is a flapper's 1920 style. I agree, Eileen. All right, so this one, Shirley and Kate, just to make sure you got it, is Joy in Almond Breeze. Lace front that goes ear to ear. All the, there's the adjustable velvet covered ear tabs. There is a left sided lace part. There's a tiny bit of permatease on here. Open wefted extended velvet nape and pull type adjusters. But as somebody who has like a ashy sort of neutral leaning type of um, natural blonde, this one to me, I put it on was like, oh wow. This is extremely natural looking, especially on me. Just like you can see my eyebrows, they like seem to adjust to the color. But this color is extremely natural looking. And I think if you also fall into that kind of um, color spectrum, it will look extremely natural. There's the other, I have another one in here, dark blonde that is very similar to this. And it is very beautiful also. It's the same sort of color dynamic. Joy is another beautiful Envy style. 100%. This is so pretty. Love the Joy wig. I always got compliments when I wear mine, says Julia. Absolutely. Like, I would compliment anyone with this kind of hair. I'd be like, wow, it's so beautiful. Beautiful, says Colleen. Yeah, no, it really is. And it really wants to just come away from the face, too, so it's not face flopping. The way they layered it, like this, you can see it wants to swoop away from the face as opposed to flopping right into it. So it's very well styled, too. 
very easy to put her back as well and you could put her up in a clip or whatnot and the face framing pieces still swoop away as instead of flunking right in your face love this one on you oh thank you sandra when i do get to the um dark blonde i'll compare it it falls beautifully right out of the box Absolutely, Marlene. That is one of the things, like, that's why I almost reached out to Envy on their Instagram was like, I just got like 15 of your wigs and I can't believe how beautiful I feel in all of them because they're perfect. <laughs> Do you have examples of the three non-rooted blondes to show later side by side, dark, medium, light blonde? Um, I have a dark one. Yes. I do not think I have a lighter blonde or a medium, Lisa. I have the, I do, this one is not rooted, but it's not, it's like, um, kind of like an in-between. It might be, here, let me just, while I'm here. Okay, so here's the dark blonde, as you can see, and you can see here is the almond, almond breeze. So you can see that the colors are kind of similar as far as the dark blonde thing goes. This one here, as I said before, it's got the darkened nape, which is the difference. And then it does have where the front is super light with like almost like money pieces, but it looks very realistic. And the dark blonde also has, the dark blonde also has where the nape is slightly darker, but there isn't like a super bright money piece, but there is like a good dimensionality between the blondes. I don't know if it's coming across very well. You can see the blondes coming through the front there and you can see how many different kinds of blonde colors are mixed throughout there so it's not flat it looks very real and it's very beautiful i will probably just go ahead and put that one on now that way i can show you the way it makes sense all right so this one here is sheena yeah sheena in dark blonde so sheena also has a full mono mono lace front the ear tabs are open and they are moldable and they have hair sewn on it's open wefted and it this is that like canvas kind of material and then it has the pull type adjusters awesome thanks allison you're very welcome lisa yeah there's quite a few rooted ones but i did if you didn't see it um lisa i showed the new um aesthetica blonde the 1488 well i guess the new fibers anyways the color itself isn't new but it was super pretty and i think you'd like that one for an unrooted blonde so here is sheena and i really love the styling of this one you can see how it's a little bit longer and it also kind of wants to swoop and fall perfectly let's see there we are so this one's got a bit more layering let's see this kind of reminds me of almost like the Ashland Trezalore wig not up here but the way that the bottom falls so here's you can see the layering around the face which swoops away again there's another layer here here and it goes down to this, the longest layer wow another beautiful one says Margaret thank you hi Dolores that color is gorgeous yes absolutely Kathleen like I put this one on and I was like it looks like my hair. <laughs> I was like, no one's really gotten it right so far, but this is, this is just dark enough. Cause the funny thing is that when people say they have a dark blonde, it's always like brown or it's too warm. And this one isn't, it's like the perfect sort of like neutral dark blonde. And it's like perfect because this is actually what my hair used to look like. Babe, if you're still on here, you should tell, tell me if you think this looks like my natural hair color when I had it. They're usually watching. Dolores says, hello, ladies. Sheena is a favorite. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you so much, Julia. So beautiful, says Tony. Sheena is gorgeous and a half up, half down because of the layers cascade. Oh, absolutely, Marlene. Yes, says my husband. <laughs> Let's see. She's got a beautiful mono under there. If you were to do that like early 2000s like bump it sort of thing that a bunch of millennials do absolutely oh yeah 
You're you're spot on, Marlene. That's so pretty. So that's how I used to do it sometimes. No, that's that's so pretty. Styled back like that, 100%. Absolutely, Marlene. And then, of course, you can just easily get it right back. So there you go. All righty. This is beautiful. I'm telling you, there's not one that I took out of the box and was like, mm, they're all really pretty. All right, so this is an interesting one. Um, I was kind of like, hmm, when I got to it, this is Riley. This is in the color Amaretto Cream. So she's she's got a root. She's darker, but then she has these really pretty um, golden highlights through her, and she's got a really beautiful pattern. So you can see here's one layer. There's a layer that flips out and curls, and you can see where it's almost like broken or shattered curls, and there's so many layers in here. And the reason I find that this one, I was like, hmm, about her is she's got this beautiful full mono here, um, but these are the ear tabs. <laughs> these ear tabs are basically like non-existent, and I don't think I've ever seen this except for wigs who that literally don't have ear tabs. So the ear tab is like really tiny. They're moldable, but it's literally like this big as opposed to like this. It's like that. And here's the lace front. You can see where it ends. And then these just super tiny ear tabs. And I'll show you what it looks like on. So it's open wefted. It has an extended lace nape and the pull type adjusters. This is my favorite brunette on Envy. It's stunning. Right, Kathleen? No, the color is beautiful. It's amaretto and cream. It's like it literally looks like a nice coffee drink. Like honestly, it's so beautiful. All right, so this style is so pretty. If you are somebody who likes full hair, but you don't want it to be super long, this will definitely give it to you. So you can see really gorgeous, just stunning. There's all the beautiful contrasting colors that run, run through there. So beautiful. So here's what the ear tabs look like because it really doesn't have any. They're there, but they're extremely small. They end right here, which doesn't cover any of the temple area. So this is one I think if you have natural hair and you don't really like ear tabs, that it would be easy to pull your own natural hair out or you just leave it down if you don't have any hair, which is what I tend to do anyways. You know, this color looks really pretty for how dark it is on me. Usually I don't. I don't like it, but these, this is really pretty. I, I, this is so pretty. Like I'm telling you, all of these colors are so fantastic. I love Envy. I, oh, I think Envy is my favorite brand. All their colors are absolutely gorgeous and beautiful styles. 100% Leanne. Like I'm telling you, like I tried these on. It was just like, wow, wow, wow. And then at one point I was like, these are so gorgeous. Like I feel so beautiful. <laughs> For the kind of kind of time I've been having recently, I was so happy to have them. I was like, oh, well. So here she is, part it to the side. And what I've noticed is that these hair fibers, they move so easily when you, when you have a mono, like, part here. You can easily come through here and part them, and it just wants to lay down immediately. It isn't like, there are some wigs that are super hard, to change the hair part and these these fibers aren't really like that I'm not fighting with them what does ear tabs do oh what do ear tabs do Linda a lot of the time they are supposed to lay down here and help with the hair um, you can lay lay them flat to the shape of your head so that the lace front fully goes on there I can show you on one that has it but with ones that don't have it it's more so some people find them as an irritation. Some people actually cut them off their wigs. Um, so for instance, on here's like a regular sized ear tab. You can see how big that is. And so when you put it on, you can, here's the ear tab. You can then take it and take the moldable piece and fold it into your head. So it comes like this to your face as opposed to if it were stuck like this, it would stick out because they're moldable. So now you can 
put it back to your face so it lays flat and then it looks very natural and can help with the hair laying more correctly. Uh, let's see. This color is gorgeous on the on the human hair synthetic blend, Marlene. No, I bet. Shirley says just a little info about Envy. It's owned by Alan Eaton, who is very hands-on and is in constant contact with his retailers. Mickey is his sister and our rep, and she is awesome. Yay, Shirley! Does Envy fit like Beltress? Uh no. I think it fit, I think these are all pretty true to average, would be, I think Beltrust tends to, in my opinion, run pretty, uh, it can run kind of large. Um, I feel that these are more centered on average, however, they're not, I don't feel that they're tight. So I think you could fit, but um, was it Eileen who has a 23 inch head? She said that hers fit fine. I wonder if I would like this or cinnamon raisin more. I can hold them both up, Sherry. Most Envy will fit a 23 inch. Yeah, says Marlene. You're very welcome, Linda. All right. Let's see. This is Juliet, and this is in Saffron Spice. And this is a dark-rooted, very warm, like, brownish color is what I would describe her as. Kind of like... Okay, so it would be, like, if you liked the way that Cream Coffee looked but wished that she was darker, that's what I would say the saffron rooter, rooted is and that the root is, like, longer. So there's more to it, but it's along the same kind of color spectrum. It's just that saffron rooted is darker, just in general, if you look at her. Is that the moon peeking through the curtain? This? No, that's my light. The, I don't know if the moon's out here. So I'm in a sunroom all from like, I'll, I'll, I'll take you guys on a ride. Hold on. So this is open wefted. It, this is velvet right here, pull type adjusters. And this is the ear tabs that are moldable and covered in velvet. It has lace front, left-sided lace part. There's quite a bit of permatease in here so you can help with the style. So Juliet, this is one of the styles I picked because I thought she'd be super popular. Or maybe it was the other one. No, it's the other one. But I picked this one because I thought as far as a very easy to throw on and go kind of style, she's a beautiful bob. She's very sleek and classic looking, just like um, London is, except it allows her to be shorter up and there's a little bit more volume. She's super pretty. Okay, so here's what happened. So before, if you remember, I have the door over here in the back, and this curtain was alongside the treadmill, which was over here. So here we go. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, I've got like my front door over here. Here's me looking in the mirror that my kids scribbled on. There's the table you used to see, the actual door that was there before is over there. So I just put this there so there's a nice white background. And I've got the wigs laid out here on the table. So you can see this is a sunroom, 100% windows. So when I do any sort of content creation, I use all of the natural sunlight. So that's where we're at. <laughs> Do you think Toasted Sesame is closer to Mocha with Cream? I was just looking at the color swatches. Uh, I don't know if I have a Toasted Sesame. Hold on. Yeah, I can only... Yes, I do. I have a Toasted Sesame. Hold on. Closer to... Very nice, says Luann. Yeah, I didn't show you the actual ceiling fan, but there it is. You can see it's one of those, like, Florida ones where it's, like, palm leaves. <laughs> Even though I don't live in Florida. Wee, says Julia. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, home and garden TV, home tours with your host, Allison. <laughs> you should have seen it. We had movers come in and take the treadmill out because it was like, like a huge commercial Nordic track. And I was like, no, I just need more room. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have Dakota, Brittany, Gia, Bianca, Emma, and others. And they all fit my 23-inch head. Coco was a little snug on me, says Eileen. Mocha, okay, toasted sesame is close to mocha with cream. Let me see. Um, okay, so this is the 
This is Toasted Sesame. This is on the style Rose. I will eventually put her on, so just hold on. So this one has a root, and it has where the nape is, on, it's dark underneath. And the, and I would say that this is like a, I would describe it as like a kind of dark um, blonde mixture to mocha with cream. This is mocha with cream, which I also feel like kind of falls into that dark blonde spectrum. So I would say that besides the darker nape, which you can see down here, and the root that th that um, Toasted Sesame has, I think the overall color that you see in the body of this is pretty similar to the Mocha, um, mocha Frost. So yes, you can see they are relatively, in my opinion, pretty similar. It's just that this one here has a root and a darkened nape, while Mocha Frost does not. As you can see, there's literally no nape on that style, really. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, no, the color is, is not darker on the nape of this one. It looks like it is on the camera, but that's because it's creating like a shadow, and you can see it, it isn't. Yeah, it's not darker, no. So that would be the difference. Oop. That's the light on the fan, I see. Yes, Luann, yeah, it used to be over to the side. So sometimes I would lean like this to show warmer colors. You're so organized and the white background is perfect. It really allows us to see the colors accurately. Oh, thank you, Marlene, that was my thought. Cause when I take pictures now, you have all of the natural light coming through. I have my two neutral box lights and my cool one and then the warm light here. So everything kind of neutralizes with the natural light coming in. And with the phone, I upgraded it so that it has like the best camera phone on the market. So everyone can hopefully get the most accurate videos and pictures because I know that that's the hardest thing. If Allison gains weight, it's not my fault. I voted to spare the treadmill. <laughs> there is no room, Shirley. <laughs> I needed more room for wigs. <laughs> okay, I already put you on, pretty thing. All right, so here's one of my favorite styles because I really like long ones. Your lighting is perfect. Oh, thank you, Marlene. I try. There's a lot of thought that goes into it and a lot of um, moving things around. It's It's a whole production, if you will like photography, you've got to think about the whole art of it, if you will. All right, so this is Brianna, and I have got her in two colors. This one is Platinum Shadow, full mono on the top, so you have a whole bunch of versatility here. It's open wefted, and this is an extended lace nape with pull type adjusters. The ear tabs are also moldable with lace covering. So this here, because she's the Platinum Shadow, I think is what it said, Yes, Platinum Shadow. She has the darker root here, and it does have where there's blending, so it's not stark. It's not super harsh. And then the color is Platinum. You can see if you bring her over here into this light, she'll look very, very cool. Over here, she'll look more neutral. And over here, she'll look very warm. So that's, my, that's why I stand here in the middle. All right, so here is the beautiful Brianna. And her ear tabs were kind of flared, so I pushed them down so that they sit on my face correctly. I'm telling you, these ear tabs, they put them right where I keep grabbing them. There we go. So she's a nice, long, very glamorous style, very like heartthrob, if you will. And you can part her anywhere due to the full monofilament. The color is super pretty. The style is super pretty. I also have her in lighter red. So she's very full, as you can see. But there goes the tag again. Um, where is it? Can't even remember what side it's on. It's over here. <sighs> this is the worst part, I swear. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. You can pull her back into a nice ponytail. She would also be able to be put into a bun because of how much length there is. If you're one of the people who likes the chopsticks or an actual clip, blonde bombshell. Oh, thank you, Julia. No, absolutely. 
And so I do have a couple of the other like rooted blonde specific colors that they came out with. Like this one, the silky beige is another rooted one. So here's the beige next to the platinum shadow. And then there was the uh, champagne shadow, which is another one right here. So you can see the differences in the blondes here. I always said this one's the most warm so far, and this one is mm, definitely cooler by far. And the one that I've got on is also, I'd say neutral in comparison. There, it's more neutral leaning in my opinion though. It doesn't come across that way, I don't think. Let me see. This one's quite ashy. They, yeah, they're both kind of like a neutral, ashy leaning color, if that's your kind of jam that you like. Color. This one is the um, Platinum Shadow Vicky. Gorgeous, says Anne. Thank you. All right. Super pretty. All right, and I have her in the lighter red because I just can't get enough of that color. And this one's mine. Same as before, full monofilament, the extended lace nape, pull type adjusters. And if you like the longer, beautiful red colors, you can see full mono, lace front. She's so beautiful. Oh, Platinum Shadow, thank you. You're very welcome, Vicki. So here's what she looks like when she's been owned for a bit. I did put her in the middle as opposed to, and I broke the line everything. It was in the middle before, but it was more like this. This one, I kind of played with her so that she tends to lay like this as opposed to wanting to go in my face. But I did brush her and I've worn her and she's, their fibers are really good about not tangling. They're very, they stay very soft. And if they do tangle, they're super easy to brush out. And the color is, like I said, it's really just my favorite color that they make. All right. So the next one I have, it reminds me of Ryan by Aesthetica in the color, the Chrome RT1B, like, yeah, RT, no, yeah, that one. This is Kelsey. There is a difference to it, and this is in the color Sterling Shadow. So this is a basic machine cap. She's got a velour lace front here, or like, oh no, velour like on the top, so for comfort. Open ear tabs that are moldable, with hair sewn on quite a, a generous amount. Open wefted and has the same sort of open extended nape there and pull type adjusters. So let me put this one on because it's got a very interesting style. And Coco I thought was very like 1920s. This one reminds me of that whole time period also because it has these beautiful pieces that come down on either side and then it has where there's this fullness in the back and these tendrils that come up. And it's really just this super fun, like flapper hairstyle, right? So in the back, it is sleek up here and then you have that piece up here where it creates almost like a shelf of like tendrils and you can play with it and make it more floofy. I feel like this one would be really pretty with a headband here. Yeah, see, it's like, for me, that's like talking like straight up 1920s like flapper hair. And this color is super pretty. If somebody wants me to compare it to the Ryan, I can. Kelsey is chic, looks like an upscale salon set cut. Absolutely, Julia, I 100% agree. This is not something like the average person can feel like could pull off, it's so pretty. Kelsey looks gorgeous on you. Oh, thank you, Shirley. Yeah, no, this is, I really was intrigued by the haircut with how it's so sleek in the back and then you have this beautiful just toss of curls and then the like highly angled cut here that is voluminous on top. I've never seen anything like it. It's so pretty. And on that color in particular, the style really shines. All right. So now here is, this is Rose and this is in the color to uh, Toasted Sesame. 
Please compare colors. Okay, yes, yes. I will do that for you, J.E. I love the color. Me too, Marlene. I really love the grays. Kelly says, hi, Allison. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know you were on. I have to figure out why I'm not receiving notifications. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people have actually said that. I know that if you, let me see. I don't think there's anything I can do from my end on here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like it. Um, let me get that color real quick. I know that when you um, go to Shirley's actual Facebook page, there should be an option where it says receive notifications, notification on, something like that. And that's where you should get them because when Shirley goes live on Facebook, I get a notification too. And it will come up as a like a red notification. The other thing too is that when you go on and you want to know if someone's live, is that um, sometimes where their story ring would be, like if they have a story, it's, it'll turn blue, is that when they're live, it turns red. All right, so here is the Ryan in the Chrome RT1B. You can see this one's got it on the one side here, and you can see the color. And here's the other side, so it's a little bit steeper on this side. Here is the color. You can see there. Oh, wow, they're very similar. So the Aesthetica one is, it's like lighter in the front, I think. Yeah, okay, so here is what I'm noticing. So on the Aesthetica, you have the dark root, just like Kelsey here, which is in the color Sterling Silver, also has a dark root. So on the Aesthetica, it almost looks like it's a little bit darker. They're, the money pieces, they allow for highlighting there. And then the actual overbody of it is like kind of like the dark smoky. And as the hairs get longer, at least on this style, the pieces uh, trans like they turn lighter. They become lighter as they get longer. This one, it seems to be a overall mixture of it is that you've got the dark, the light, and it's everywhere. It doesn't seem to be dictated by length or anything like that. So it, it, it is this very natural blend on a heavy dark root. As you can see this one, it doesn't just seem to be where there's just it's not a blend is what it looks like to me it looks as though there's some sort of purpose of where they have placed it as opposed to a blend where it's all mixed together not that it looks bad at all because that's not what i'm saying uh let's see oh i shall definitely try that thank you you're very welcome kelly i've been setting an alarm on my phone for through wednesday to saturday to check for lives i don't want to miss a minute oh <laughs> that's a very good idea sharon we are working on a text message app, so very soon you will be able to sign up for that and always get notifications, says Shirley. Yes, absolutely. So hopefully this was helpful. I don't know if anyone agrees on my assessment of the colors. I mean, they're extremely similar. In my opinion, if you like the Aesthetica Chrome RT1B, you will love the Kelsey, um, you will love the color Sterling Shadow. Absolutely. All right, so back to the rose. <laughs> All right, so rose has a full monofilament, lace front, the velvet ear tabs that are adjustable, open wefted, and this one's quite stretchy, extended velvet nape, and pull type adjusters. So this one, <laughs> just whap myself in the face with it. So this one here reminds me of, is it Santa Barbara or Malibu? Like a mixture of them from the Beltras. That's what this reminds me of, the way that it wants to come away from the face in such a manner and it's only so long. So it's like super popular style for sure very easy to manage. And I think that the blends of colors, even when they add the root, it looks very natural. So there is a little bit of permatease here. That's why there's like a bump it. Try parting her to the side. Yeah, I mean, you can see how easy the parting that is. It really, 
doesn't fight where it keeps wanting to flip or adding like a weird bump when you do flip it. It's very easily done with just your hands. Sounds great, says Kelly. So that was Rose. And this is in the color Toasted Sesame. Uh, here is, this is the tin, this is Tinsley, and this is in Cinnamon Raisin. Super cute. Some similarity, similarities to Riley. Yes, Diane. I would say that uh, Riley was more like curly, while Rose was more like straight. And like, there's less like texture going on. All right, so Tinsley has a lace front and left-sided lace part. There is permatease under here. It is open wefted and quite stretchy. You'll be able to fit anything in there. <laughs> Pull type adjusters, and this is velvet, but it's not really doing much except just to create a little bit of comfort here on the back of your neck. And I think they did not add an extended one to this style because it is short in the back. As you can see, if there was really any more of an extended nape there, you would have or could potentially have that hanging out of the wig. So here is a really, I think this is a super classy, easy style also. And it very easily wants to hold any sort of style you want to give it. You can add some more volume to it. You can also make it super sleek where you can take it and drag it down your face so that it caresses the side of your face very easily. And I know there was somebody before saying they wanted their ears covered when they wear a shorter piece. This one definitely does. Fabulous color, says Tony. Yeah, no, it's really beautiful. The um, cinnamon raisin. Envy has such nice lace fronts. My Belinda is so nice and I've had her for more than two years. Oh, wow, Kelly. Same with my Ava. I need some more Envy now that I think of it. <laughs> right? Cute, says Vicky. Yes. I know somebody was asking, I think, earlier about the color. If they would like amaretto and cream or the cinnamon raisin more. I would say this is kind of like the 823 or 829 color where it's like a, the dark, except I would call this probably a 629, maybe not an 8. I'm not quite sure, but the root is definitely a little darker. This one doesn't have a root. Uh, the color in here is like a golden sort of blonde, but it's a very beautiful color. Uh, the nape is definitely darker. The under color is really fantastic. This one, I would say in comparison, is definitely more like on the reddish side as opposed to a golden. They're both warm, but this one is more warm. It's really cute on you. Oh, thank you, Karen. Love this style, says Brenda. No, it's it's super easy to wear. I really love it. Surely, when looking at Rose, Sterling Shadow is not offered on the website. Yeah, I've noticed that some of them, it's like they don't offer specific colors in certain styles, depending on of what it is, J.E. There she is with a headband. Really cute color on her for sure as well. Well, thank you, Kelly. So let me look at those real close to each other. Yeah, okay. So you can see this. This one definitely has the golden aspect. This one here is definitely more warm, like red. There's a coppery, there's, wow, one, two, three. There's, there's, a, there's five or six different color blend in there. So this one's very more blended. This one is more highly dimensional with not as many colors, but this one is so highly blended. It looks, it looks real. And you can see the back is this nice warm copper color. I'd say auburn potentially. Um, yeah, I would say this is a an auburn, a dark auburn, and then there's all these different colors that are mixed through it. Blonde, brown, there's dark brown in there also, which is why the color does overall have a dark tone. But you can see all the different colors mixed through that cinnamon raisin. It's, it's really beautiful. It's very dynamic and just really pretty. Thanks for the color comparison. You're welcome, Cherie. 
Dang, says J.E., yeah. What was the darker color, please? That was amaretto and cream, Kelly. This one right here, yeah, this was, this one right here was the, um, yeah, amaretto and cream. Sterling Shadow is a relatively new color by Envy. I don't believe it's available on all styles, says Marlene. Yeah, no, they came out with their, they called them like rooted, natural rooting or rooted nat some naturally or something. Here's the comparison again. Um, but there was, I think, 12 new colors. Six of them were brown and six were blonde. So if I remember correctly, um, yeah. So if they, I know they have them on like Brianna has them all, but yeah, not on, not across all. That's for sure. The cinnamon color is amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sheree. 100%. Yes. Thank you. You're very welcome, Kelly. The first wig, where can I buy one? Um, Shirley has been linking them above Connie. All right. So Let's go on to this guy right here. This one is the first one that I have seen with a fully hand tied cap from this brand. So this is Roxy and this is in the color Ginger Cream. And Lisa, if you're still here, this one is also unrooted. Not sure if you're from Australia. So you can see it is unrooted. There's just a bunch of different highlights and dimensionality in there, but there's no actual rooting. Oh, sounds fun. Three new browns. Yeah, no, Kelly, they came out with six rooted ones. There was 12 new colors in total, I believe. I think six were blonde and six were darker, like kind of. Uh, we carry all the wigs Allison has shown. Yes, absolutely. So this one has a full monofilament lace front. This is the lace ears that are moldable. And like I said, the entire cap is 100% hand tied. You can see all, there's my finger through there. You can see the knotting. It's super... Yep, there you go, Lisa. <laughs> so here you go. It's um, canvas on here and the pull type adjusters. Yeah, forgot about this one. Yeah, ginger cream. And I can compare them for you again, Lisa, with this one in my hand. All right, so here we go. She is super comfortable on the head. She's hand tied. So there's tons of movement here where you can literally see it's like moving your own hair and very stylish. It's not super long, that's for sure, but it's, this is so comfortable and you can see there's the lace, the, the part on the monofilament and let me see. So the ear tabs end here. You can pull it back if you wanted. If depending on how low or high up it goes on you. Roxy is gorgeous. Right, Marlene? This, I mean, this style is extremely, I feel like this is extremely natural. Like a lot of people when they go ahead and they have longer hair and then they cut it and they grow it out, that this is what they end up with kind of on their own. That's what this is. That's what it reminds me of. Okay. Whew. All right. So for Lisa, the one I'm wearing is Ginger Cream. This one right here is Almond Breeze. This is Almond Breeze and is on the style Joy. Here's the difference. You can see they're, they're right around the same vein also. And this is Dark Blonde on Sheena. So you can see they're all really kind of along the same, like they're in like the same color family. Somebody over at, um, Envy really loves a dark natural blonde, is all I have to say. There we go. I think I've got that one still parted though. There we go. Hopefully that was helpful. All right. Gorgeous, very pretty, says Karen. Thank you, Margaret and Karen. Six browns, sounds like my birthday is coming early. <laughs> right, Kelly? So we'll definitely have to show Envy again because these these are just, they're so pretty. I can, I just can't with how gorgeous these colors are. Because then we can get, we can do like an all rooted ones, potentially. <laughs> the new ones that they have, the rooted and naturally rooted. I have to look that up, what it's called. Very helpful. Thanks, Allison. You're very welcome, Lisa. I know that you always want to know the unrooted ones. Did you see the Aesthetica from the beginning, Lisa? Yeah, 
we are. All right, so now I am going to move into the hair blend one. So these ones are heat defiant. I have got two of one style and then three other styles. So four styles total. So I'm going to start with Krista. So I have her in one of my own. Yes, more new MV, please, and thank you. <laughs> okay, Kelly, I'll let Shirley know. All right, so these ones all have, it is a blend of 30% human hair and 70% heat defiant synthetic. So these are all heat friendly and you can restyle them, you can straighten them, curl them, do whatever. So this allows the hair to, come on, it's the tag. This allows for you to get a human hair sort of wig with a lower price point and it allows for the hair quality to be better for longer because the human hair is, you know, it's natural hair and it's going to last longer usually than like a synthetic sort of fiber or situation would. So it just helps to extend the length and time of the hair. So they also have these really gorgeous caps. Some of them are a little different, but all of the ones that I have are essentially the same. So they have a lace front that goes ear to ear and you can see it goes all the way to the ear around the ear tab. And then they have this silicone grip band, like a polyurethane strip that comes through here and really grips the head. The ear tabs are moldable. I missed the, the start, but always watch the replay. Oh, okay, Lisa. Yeah, at the end, if you want, if you're still here, I can definitely show it again. That is gorgeous. Wowzer says Joyce. Absolutely, Joyce, 100%. Full mono open wefted, very stretchy. There's lots of room, but the polyurethane will absolutely grip your head. If you're usually someone who wears a wig grip, you probably won't need to with this. So they also have, this is Velcro right here. And on the other ones, they were all pull type. All right, so let me put her on. This one does have a lot of um, density to it. And there's a lot of hair here, but I think it reminds me of my hair when I had it before I used keratin treatments on it. And that is because I had so much body to it that when I go out st outside in the humidity here in Georgia, it would be like, like a lion's mane. Uh, Kelly says the Envy blend is very nice and the price is way better than a complete human hair wig. Yep, exactly. That's what I was trying to get across. A while back, I attended a training by Envy. They said this blend will last two to three years with everyday wear and proper care. Right, Marlene? See, that's why I think the little bit of extra cost with these in particular is that they are actually more cost effective than a regular or heat defiant wig that they might have because these ones, especially with the 35% off, I have like, they're not all long. I can show you the ones that I do have, but there's, if you like long, there's quite a few. Like this is, and the color translation is so beautiful. I don't even think I said the color. <laughs> I think it's sparkling champagne. Yes, sparkling champagne. So she is rooted. And I haven't really done anything with the part here. I've added no heat or water to it. But there is a root that's not super bad, not super long, not super dark. Just enough so that it looks natural. You can pin her back, like half up, half down. The color, if I remember correctly, is a little bit, let's see, yeah, okay. There's also quite a bit of human hair here, and I can tell that it's human by how it feels. It's very soft and silky, and through here around the nape where you would normally get tangling with a longer piece like this, they add a big swatch of human hair here to help avoid that and mitigate that. Here is the style. You can see it's a little bit darker underneath. And as the color mixes through, there's, it's heavily blended, but then like it would be growing out of your head, it's a little darker on the bottom and the nape. Another huge benefit over pure uh, human hair is these keep their style after washing. Right, Leanne, absolutely. The human hair on it might fall flat, but the overall heat defiant will not. Absolutely right, Marlene. I've had my Ava around two and a half years and be it's beautiful. I believe it, Kelly. That is really good on you. Oh, thank you, Lisa. The human hair in the blend also prevents tangling at the name. Right. The, yeah, exactly. That's what I was just saying. So this is one that Shirley just sent me and I can show you one that I own myself. That way you can see what it looks like when you've, what's that? Oh, 
when you've messed with her a bit and you've worn her out and everything. So this one, I have worn her out. This is also in a lighter red. <laughs> I've got a problem. <laughs> so I can put, I can show her when you, I put her on. I don't wear her with a wig grip because I don't find it necessary. The polyurethane grip absolutely gets your head very good. It's super comfortable. And I do have her hair where I part. She kind of reminds me of a human hair and um, heat defiant blend of like a Brianna is what she reminds me of. And she looks incredibly natural straightened too. I just, I've kept her kind of long and you can see here's the difference from wearing her a bit. She definitely doesn't tangle super bad or easily at that matter. But I've, I think she's, she's a gorgeous style. And because her lace front goes all the way around the ear tabs here, let me just put those to my face. There we go. You can see here, you can pull her back in the front. You could have the front pieces come down like that, but you could pull her up into a nice updo or half up, half down. Hi, Kimberly. How does the lighter red compare to the Aesthetica? I'll grab that in just a second, Vicki. Beautiful, says Patricia. Thank you. Marlene says, gorgeous on you. Thank you. Love it, Kimberly. Me too. <laughs> okay, so, so for the regular synthetic, the um, R3028-26, um, that's very realistic, looks so good. Right, Karen? 100%. Uh, Vicky, here we go. Here's the difference. So lighter red is one of the most red uh, blends out there that I've been able to find. Specifically when you bring out the regular synthetic also, like you can see, this is the regular synthetic. This one is the human and heat defiant blend. And this is the Aesthetica R302826. So you can see exactly how much more red, how vibrantly copper it is. So you can see that this one together, you can see it's definitely the same color they were going for. And this one is more leaning, I would say, towards a strawberry blonde that's natural for sure. But this one's more copper. Okay. Uh, the MB blend also allows for the opportunity to see how human hair behaves and whether you want to put that much time into a completely human hair wig because they do require more maintenance. Yeah, I agree, Kelly. Specifically around the styling, as soon as you wash it, it all fall, falls flat or it could get frizzy and then you've got to readjust that. It's very realistic. Oh, uh, thank you. You're very welcome, Vicki. Lighter red is more of an Irish red. Absolutely. And this is the one that I really love. I gravitate towards this one in every single capacity. I look at the swatch, even picking these out, I was like, lighter red for all. And I was like, I can't do that. I need to show other colors. <laughs> My short-term memory is hitting hard. Did you have a Whitney? Yes, I do. Yes, yes, Shirley. I have her in Golden Nutmeg. Um, she's actually who I'm showing next. Yes. Here's the Whitney in Golden Ginger. Here is the lighter red. They're both obviously warm. This one's more blonde, but it's still very like almost like a red. Let me put it on for you. Let me just get my this thing. Yes, I honestly forgot that Whitney was a human hair blend one. Yes, yes, surely she is. She is also an envy hair, meaning she's 70%, I believe, yeah, envy wigs and hair add-ons. Yeah, let me make sure just, I don't think any of them are 100%, but let me check. Envy hair, Yes, this is 70% synthetic, the heat defiant, and 30% human hair blend. This one here, the amount, it, it says up to temperatures up to 180 Celsius or 356 Fahrenheit. Um, you can use 100% human hair products on it. Envy hair looks, feels, and reacts just like human hair. And then it tells you how to like wash it and daily luster and stuff like that. All right. So Whitney, this is in Golden Nutmeg. This is also the 70-30 blend, 70% uh, 
heat defiant fibers, 30% human hair. So this is a full basic cap on the top, so there's no lace front, but you can still get these premium fibers. When I put this on, I was, I was like, wow, this is so soft. This is like crazy soft. And then I realized it was, it was a human blend. That's why it was so crazy soft. Open wefted, extended velvet nape, Velcro adjusters, and velvet ear tabs that are moldable. So this one is super cute. And this color, I, I love the color. Do you ever tell the price that, yes, Holly, sometimes we do. Um, when I've had to put out the discount codes and the prices, I will, but this time Shirley is actually linking them. So when I put it on, she'll drop a link. And then if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to the website. And the discount code tonight is Allison35, that's A-L-L-I-S-O-N. And you can um, get 35% off of these and it'll tell you the price at checkout. So this is a human hair blend. You can see how well the fibers move and how they react. It literally is like, I'm telling you, I wish I could show you, like you could take your hands through the screen and feel how soft this one is. It's incredibly soft and the style is so cute. You could easily adjust the length of the bangs if you wanted them like the model has them like, down but my forehead is only two inches so as you can see there's a lot of room there it's a lot of, i don't have a lot of real estate right there but you could trend them otherwise the style is very easy to wear i honestly think that if you were to get this wig in particular because of the blend of human and heat defiant and it being shorter this this wig would last like forever like honestly like it's incredibly soft and you can see how well that I just over and over and over run my hands through it and it reacts like if it were my own hair. On this wig in particular, I would say the way that the fibers feel is like that of like Caucasian hair. They're very um, fine and they're very, very smooth feeling, very soft. There's no, they're not coarse. The denier feels um, like fine. So that definitely is very soft and that's why it's got super great movement it looks very airy and fluffy there is the color she is i would say light creamed coffee but slightly um she's lighter any permities in this one lisa it is sewn through the weftings it's not particularly heavy so you can see it's there if you look at the wefting um there's, a, there's not a lot. Honestly, I'm having a hard time finding it. There it is. There's very little. You can see it's in there just a little bit, but not that much. Um, even at the front of the wig where it begins, there's some permatease here, but it's really to help with elevation of the style off of your face, and it itself is minimal. And um, it's not even like how most permatease is like kinky. And it's very like this. It's not like that. These ones are straight. So, real high quality wig there. It's super comfortable. It's breathable due to it being open wefted. All right. And then I have another one of my own. This is a different style. This is Lisa. And I've got her in lighter red again. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Holly says, I've sold hair systems for 30 years. I just want to say I love your presentations and knowledge on the systems. Oh, thank you, Holly. Does Envy have any long straight wigs that you can put up with a claw clip? Yes, Angie. Yeah. I, there's quite a few I can show again. I love the my 80s big old hair. Right, Lisa? All right. I'm going to take this off because this one's mine. All right. So she has the same kind of cap construction as the um, Krista did which is where you've got a full monofilament and you've got a lace front that goes ear to ear. There's also this polyurethane strip, which essentially acts as like a wig grip in my opinion. And so you have a ton of parting space and you have a ton of coverage down the side of your face, allowing you to pull the style away from your face. It's open wefted and stretchy and extended velvet nape and Velcro adjusters. And of course it's, this is a straight presentation of the lighter red in case you didn't like it on the wavy styles. Lighter red, shocked, shocked, I say it, right? And like, <laughs> sorry. 
anytime I have a shipment come through and they're like, they're like my styles. I'm like, sure, I'll add it to it. It's just perfect. And then I'm like, it's, it's red. It's, it's red. It's, it's red. <laughs> this, that is very pretty. Oh, thank you, Dolores. So this one is a super easy style. I feel like uh, this is like a throw and go. If you need to just run out of the house real quick, you can just put her on and I mean, I keep her down the middle because it's super easy, but you can easily change it due to the monofilament. And because of the lace front being right here, and it's very good, you can easily pull it back if you want. I've worn it with a headband before. And as a straight style, these fibers are, oh wow, they are incredibly soft. Like you can almost see it like when I put the headband on, how they want to how smooth and just straight then I mean, you can see how soft that is it's incredibly just i don't even know how to explain it they're so good there's the movement you can see there's no tangling it's it's super easy to wear and let's see for anyone asking i know there's a lot of people who always say how can you wear it without a wig grip and then this one essentially has like a built-in in one you can come in here and shake it and flip it up and all of that really mess with it and the wig it it doesn't move and the lace fronts on them are perfect oh you're a red lover too holly welcome to the club <laughs> shirley's shirley is a huge fan of it too like i'm always just like yes when i started working with her i was like oh my goodness another redhead i love it <laughs> Ooh, you love this one marlene Yes, me too. What happened to your mom? I don't know. Um, Dolores, I she was on here before, and I'm not sure if she just doesn't have good enough Wi-Fi or data. I'm def I was gonna call her after this because I've got to pack her another bag for the hospital, so I can always update. But she's at the hospital. They moved her to the cardiac unit upstairs, so they're just kind of prepping her and getting her ready. Me, me too. How have I not seen this? Right, Shirley. Lisa, you know, we should all, if everyone loves these, it's entirely possible we should do like a whole one with you, with these ones because they've got, I think there's like 20 of them that are like this, all different lengths, all different styles. There was one called Zoe that I wanted to try. There was like, a, there's a shorter one that's got like the cutest back end that flips out that is like the human hair blend too. Gorgeous says Marlene. Yes. Lisa's on your wish list, Anne. She's worth it. Absolutely. We've been living under a rock, says Marlene. <laughs> I'm thinking Tandy so I can try the human hair blend. Yeah, maybe that's the one I'm thinking of is Tandy. Shirley and I need Lisa, says <laughs> says Marlene. Okay, let me just take it off and like throw it to you. Gorgeous on you. Thank you, Angie. And yes, this one is long enough where you can put her back. You can also claw clip her because, I mean, a little bit will hang out here because of this, the length. But here. Got a hair clip. Shirley sells this one. You need her too, Vicky. Yeah, no, this is honestly like one of my favorite wigs. Super easy to manage, lightweight. She has a lower density. This is her with a claw clip and she is straight, obviously. She's not as long. Let me see. Just a little bit more effort you can definitely claw clip her up so the, the thing is that the fibers are so soft is that if you don't get them tight enough they will slip right out because the hair i'm not even kidding is that soft hello you look so pretty in that red oh thank you lisa hi i wonder why the price differs so greatly on these blend envy styles maybe they contain different uh, blend percentages yeah i know who else makes a human hair and heat defiant blend? Um, I know that there's other major brands that sell pure human, but I'm not, I can't off the top of my head remember a blend. Same here. Kelly, me and you both, let's mail them to Italy and pick them up. They're just kidding. I'm ordering us some here, says Shirley. Yes. These are gorgeous. Yeah, and so here she is beautiful you can see the hair movement is fantastic everything i've done with her i feel like i could shake her around and like throw across the room to try and prove to you how wonderful these are 
but I mean, the fibers are, they're literally just that soft. They are fantastic. That's the round one. Okay, let's go to this thing again. <laughs> Marlene. All right. The last one that I have here, this one is Erica. This is also another human hair blend. This is the color creamed coffee. So before I'd shown golden nutmeg right here, you can see I said that I thought that golden nutmeg was just a little bit lighter than creamed coffee. So this is creamed coffee and this is golden nutmeg. And as you can see, it's, it's I mean, this one's just a slightly bit lighter than creamed coffee. Creamed coffee has a nice root she is and this one's root is still I mean it's there it's just creamed coffee's roots a little bit longer I'm just there we go here's the difference in the rootings you can see this one's more blonde appearing this one's more reddish brown appearing there we go all right so what no Italy for us surely I want to go to Italy Ooh. They have a lot of gluten-free stuff there because apparently they have it on the doors and stuff if they do it. Ellen Villa has some hip, some blends. Oh, okay, Anne. Allison, how's your mom? Uh, Joe, they transferred her to the cardiac unit and we are just kind of waiting for everything. Um, I'm going to go see her tomorrow. We're going to, I have to pack a bag to bring to the hospital with us after this and then, um, I'm going to take the, we're going to take the kids and my brother and go see her tomorrow at the hospital and probably spend like a couple hours there. They won't let us all in the room at the same time. So we'll have to like switch in and out. I probably won't be live tomorrow because of it, because it's two hours to get there, two hours to get back. And if we spend a couple hours there, I'm not going to be probably doing anything. Hi, Anna. All right. So the same as before, lace front that goes ear to ear, the polyurethane strip, moldable ear tabs, full monofilament, uh, open wafted, extended velvet nape, and vel uh, Velcro, or yeah, Velcro adjusters. All right. Yeah, with the wig grip on, I'm going to be honest, these ones are not super comfortable because they have that polyurethane strip, but once you take it off, once you aren't wearing a wig grip, it's very comfortable, but it does feel kind of tight with a wig grip on. Um, but the lace still lays flat. There's no puckering like I will have with a Raquel Welsh um, at all. None of that's happening here. Um, this is, like I said, full monofilament here. So the same cap construction, it was on the Krista and the Lisa, and it's very comfortable. It's just not comfortable with the wig grip on with it for me. So here's the... Hi, Haley. All right, so here is the tag, and we're going to throw her in the back. <laughs> So here is Erica. So she's got the curtain bangs and she does have like kind of like a salon blowout sort of moment is her style. You can see there's a lot of layers in there that are very pretty. You can see the like curtain bangs that are longer that swoop away that have a good bit of volume added to them and then the different layers of feathering. all the hair movement from the ones that you saw before so here is them being brushed you can see like any other type of regular synthetic would snag and pull and with the human blend it comes through very easily there's no snagging there's no super hard to brush or anything like that it really does just feel like brushing human hair in my opinion Oh, that tag is going to get me. <laughs> and now I can't find it. Where? <laughs> so pretty. Oh, thank you, Anna. Very nice on you, Allison. Thank you. Erica is beautiful. I agree, Marlene. All right. 
there she is. You can see the nice hair movement. And one of my favorite things to do with such a beautiful long style, there you are. is to take it when you get like this and then you can really see the shine and luster that's in it. You can see the shine as it goes. Like at a salon, they'll do that. And that's how you can tell how healthy the fibers look, that there's a natural luster or sheen to it, like a healthy head of hair. Wow, it's gorgeous on yes, and thank you, Haley. Such a pretty wig and I love the way it brushes. Yes, it's it's how much, Gian? Uh, you know, Shirley linked her up above, and you can get 35% off with Allison 35. All right, so full mono, you can play with her a little bit. All right, so that's all the ones that I have right here. If somebody would like to see another one or do a comparison, I can absolutely do it again. Oh my goodness, Joe! <laughs> you had a good time. There she is to the side. You can see the layering that's cut in where I parted her on the side to definitely frame the face. And then if we go to the other side with ease due to the monofilament, you can quite easily part her. Very easy to manage. Oh, girl, I'm coming to visit. <laughs> you surely wants to have a party too, Joe. Everything I missed the first hour. Just kidding, says Kelly. You know what? Like, I've been on here for almost two hours, but let's have some fun. What do you want to see? <laughs> let's see. Okay, so let's... For Lisa, if she's still here, here's 7 in the R1488. This is the new... Heat, heat Defiant uh, Aesthetica one, and this is the Unrooted Blonde. It's very light around the face. High, highly dimensional. I haven't broken the part or anything. I haven't really had a lot, of, a lot of time to mess with them due to everything, but eventually I will be able to play with her a little bit more. So there she is in kind of like person. I did take pictures in the sun with her. So you can see exactly how brightly those in the face, these very light pieces of blonde, they absolutely like pop. And excellent. I have sweet talk in 1488. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have um, a Verona in her. So here's the difference between the regular synthetic 1488 and the new Heat Defiant. Oh, wow. Looks so cute. You like it, Kelly? Yeah, she's super it smells like perfume. <laughs> it's super, super cute and pretty. I feel like she's just super easy out of the box for sure. My James has box hair um, that I haven't really fixed. I haven't had time to, but you can see that these are definitely the same iteration of each other, just on a different type of fiber. I know it wouldn't a drink. How uh, did you show Sunlit Blonde in the HD Fiber? Uh, Leanne, I don't have those ones yet. Uh, Aesthetica will be sending me a Brighton in Sunlit Blonde. And then I will be getting the, um, it's called Peyton, I think. Perry, no. Whatever the short one's called, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm going to be getting that one in the Chrome RT1B because I do have the other one to help facilitate a comparison. You can wear so many colors, Allison, really. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Okay, thank you so much. You're very welcome, Leanne. Yes, I have the Finn in a Sunlit Blonde, and I can hold that up to the Brighton. That way, um, I can show that one. All right, so let's see. For people who have stayed here from the time where we talked about Veil, there you go, Marlene, I just... <laughs> so for people that have been here from the beginning, it, was there a color from the Envy collection that you just love? That way I can either show it again because I know Shirley said that she's going to be making a wig with them and looking at colors would be good to know which ones you guys like the most. She sits beautifully around the face. Absolutely, Natalia. Yeah, 100%. My favorite is lightest red. 
but I also really liked creamed coffee. I think that was a super pretty color. I liked the dark blonde. That was really pretty. Um, I didn't get a darker red. I know that, I don't know how dark that is. There's also like a chocolate cherry, which isn't here. There's several other rooted colors that aren't here. I know that are super pretty. The cinnamon raisin was really beautiful. Um, Julia likes toasted sesame. Okay. Let's see. Let's just cinnamon raisin is Marlene's favorite. Oh, okay. I can see why it was. It's so pretty and dimensional. Let's see. Here's a beautiful cinnamon raisin. Cinnamon raisin. Can you show the dark blonde again, please, says Haley? Yes, I can do that one. So here is the dark blonde, and this is on Sheena. Creamed coffee is your personal favorite, says Diane. I love their light blonde. Yeah, I didn't actually get one of those. It's so hard when they have like a million colors to get like that many different styles, because then like it costs so much to show them all. So I try to balance it out when I make a list of what it is that you guys want to see color-wise, style-wise, or what I think you guys might be interested in looking at. So here's the dark blonde. You love their light blonde. It's so lovely for a natural blonde to non-rooted. Oh, okay, Leanne, that's, that's right up my alley. Uh, Toasted Sesame is your favorite too, says Chris. Oh, okay. Haley says gorgeous, love that style too. No, seriously, like this style is so pretty. It is so flattering in every single way. Beautiful, says Gail. Absolutely. This is just... I think the style when they show the pictures, it looks completely different. To me, this is very like lush and like this. And on the style, when you look at it online, it goes like the back of it is like... And it doesn't look like that. Can you please show Gia one more time? Absolutely, Anne. Light blonde, non-rooted, says Joan. What is this wig called? Ryan, this is this is Sheena, and this is in the color dark blonde. Very natural looking. Absolutely, Haley, 100%. So, yes. I will show the new Gia Mono. All right, so this is the new Gia Mono, and this is in the color silky beige. Yes. So she's got a few, every single one looks good on you, Allison. Oh, thank you, Brenda. Full monofilament as she's the elevated or upscale version of the regular Gia, which apparently mine is not right looking, so we'll just ignore her. <laughs> Open wefted, extended velvet nape, pull type adjusters, and velvet ear tabs that are moldable. Here she is. Very full, very cute. She just has this super easy style that sits above, very full, and it is, you don't have to worry about the tangling or anything like that. And with the monofilament, you can easily part her. You're very welcome, Anne. And I actually haven't done that yet. So let's see what she looks like when you part her separately. Those could be bangs. You can see she parts real easily down the line there. The shorties are so cute, right, Haley? So you could easily have her. There's like bangs. She's kind of wanting to like fan out as I've broken that part. So you could easily have a little bit of that. Let's bring her over one more time. See, there's the part a little bit closer. You see, there's these could definitely be bangs if you wanted to add bangs. Otherwise, she's got. A good, oh wow, that's almost like very editorial looking, but there you go. Back to where she kind of came from, out of the box, she was parted on the side, and then she's kind of used to it right there. Love it. Now I have to choose the color now, says Anne, right? Here we are, so cute. All right, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna go down the list of what style I have. If somebody wants to see that in particular, then I can show that one. The part is perfection, that mono 
really gives the illusion of scalp. Absolutely. The extra little bit of lining in there for sure. So I've got Bobby in Champagne Shadow, Brianna in Platinum Shadow and Lighter Red, Coco in Medium Gray, Erica in Creamed Coffee, Joy in Almond Breeze, Juliet in Saffron Spice, Kelsey in Sterling Shadow, Krista in Sparkling Champagne and Lighter Red, London, Mocha Frost, Maya in Lighter Red, Rose in test, uh, Toasted Sesame, Ro uh, Roxy in Ginger Cream, Riley in Amaretto in Cream, Sheena in Dark Blonde, Tinsley in Cinnamon Raisin, Whitney in Golden Nutmeg, and Giamano in the Silky as we saw, and I also have the Lisa in Lighter Red, and what was the other one? Mm, it feels like I'm missing something, but I'm not. Okay, so those are all the colors or styles. If somebody wants to see it in particular, for people who weren't here before, otherwise we can call it a night depending on what people are interested in. Apparently my mom couldn't figure out how to get on here after that. Don't forget we are looking for the, right, the favorite colors by MB since we are making a wig with them, so surely, exactly. So if anyone wants to see any of the colors that I just had or a comparison between them, I can show that that way we can get an accurate one. It looked like people really liked Toasted Sesame, people liked, um, I mean I like lighter red, but that's, that's just me. Um, people said creamed coffee. Please light red. Okay. I've got her in several different wigs. This is Maya in lighter red. So I'll put her on. Best wishes for your mom. Thank you, Anne. Here is the lighter red. Yeah, I don't have the light blonde. I do have dark blonde. There we go. This is the dark blonde. Would you hold up creamed coffee and golden nutmeg together again? Yes, cinnamon raisin and toasted sesame, says Margaret. Okay, let me put, welcome back. There we go. Put on, yes, I will put on the dark blonde. Okay. Here is the creamed coffee, and this is the golden nutmeg right here. I am wearing the dark blonde in Sheena. This is on Whitney. So this is a human hair um, blend. This creamed coffee is the human hair blend on Erica. So light red is so pretty. Absolutely. I'd like to have at least one of each blondish, brownish, red, gray, and a fashion color, says Shirley. Uh, does Envy make a fashion color, or are you... And I don't think I've ever seen one where they had where it was like red or purple or, or you mean just like across all the ones that you make with people. Here's the root. There we go. Hopefully that's good for you, Anne. I know that like Ellen Villa makes one. I don't think Tress, I've never, Tress Lord doesn't really have one envy from what i saw doesn't really have one ellen villa does beltress does uh raquel welsh has a pink i know that so beautiful says jay or Haley. thank you can you please try on whitney yes sherry this one's like a basic cap but this is with the human hair blend Uh, there you go. Your lives are always so helpful and fun. Oh, thank you, Anne. So here is the beautiful Whitney. This is a human hair blend. So she's, like I said, incredibly soft. She's got super good fiber movement because it's the blend of human and heat-friendly synthetic. Shirley makes a fashion color. I'll probably do our melted 
berry color or maybe a melted plum. Oh, okay, so you do mean across all lines. Okay, you're very welcome, Sherry. Alrighty. Yeah, these human hair blends. Honestly, if you're trying to think about using human to extend the life of your wigs, the fiber in particular, it absolutely is a steal at the price that they have them at and then with the 35% off because it, buying hu pure human is very expensive. All right, so let's see. Um, all right, well, if there's no more requests, let's see. My friend and I always like to watch Allison. It does a great job showing the wigs so patiently. Greetings from Germany. Oh, thank you, Katharina. Thank you. Well, I'm definitely here to help if anyone wants to see anything because I've got them all laid out and I don't really have anywhere to be. So. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. I think Angie asked about, we love Allison. Thank you, Shirley. I love you too. <laughs> Angie was asking about straight and long that could be put up in a hair, like claw clip. This one for sure. This is um, Roxy, right? Yes, this is Roxy and this is in the color Ginger Cream. This is also an unrooted blonde. This has a full monofilament and is 100% hand tied, but this would be super easy to Put up in a claw clip. Obviously I've got the tag in there. Unless you mean longer than this Angie. But this is the kind where you could easily, let's see. Yeah, because you can pick up all of it. So you could absolutely put her in a claw clip. And I've got the tag, so just ignore that. <laughs> There's not much I could do about that. But, yeah, you can definitely put her up. The fibers are soft, and I have the card in there. So, but now she can go up. I know that Erica can go up um, very easily. Krista's got a ton of hair and she can be straightened due to the blend of human and heat fibers or heat defiant. There we go. And then Sheena is definitely long enough to put up. This I wouldn't really call straight. It's very natural, but not straight. All right. All right. So if anyone has any other requests, Let's see. Then we can go ahead and do those. I think maybe we should probably put the poll for the favorite colors, surely, probably in like the group. And I think that would get a bunch of people were to watch like this replay and then they could go and vote on it. That way it would give us a bunch of information as to what people like for sure that way. Uh, thanks, Allison. I appreciate the way you accommodate everyone's needs and questions. You're very welcome, Angie. All these uh, colors look stunning on you. Oh, thank you, Haley. Got any short and sassy blonde ones, Brenda says? Uh, we did have some short ones, but they weren't blonde. They're, of the blondes that I have, a lot of them do come in those colors. Thank you, Allison, for another wonderful uh showings, blessings, and safe travels to around. Your mother will be very will be a new person when she heals. Right, Brenda, thank you so much. You like my color idea? Okay, Shirley. Great job, and thank you, Allison. Continued prayers for your mom. Thank you, J.E. So, this, I think, was my favorite short sassy of the night. This is Kelsey. She's obviously not blonde, but she does come in blondes. This is the Sterling Shadow, or, yeah, wait, where's that? Yes, Sterling Shadow, yes. So she is, 
shorter and she's definitely sassy. There is no doubt about that. So there's that. <laughs> Does this sale end tonight at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time? I believe so, Tony. Is Whitney Frost frosted a rooted color? Uh, Whitney is the style. Frosted would be... Fr oh, yeah. Frosted is the actual one. Let me see. What, I believe it was frosted. No, uh, uh, no. This one right here, my Whitney was in the golden ginger, or excuse me, golden nutmeg, wrong brand. <laughs> it's the, yeah, golden nutmeg on Whitney. And so this, this one is a little bit rooted, but it's only just a little bit. The frosted is like a different color. I don't have a frosted in here. Um, I prayerfully second that. Oh, thank you so much, Kelly. Thank you, Allison. Wishing the best for your mom. Thank you, Dominica. And I frosted is super pretty, though. Yeah, if I remember correctly, like you said, frosted is not rooted. And it's almost like reminds me of the mocha cream, which is this one. But then it has like where it's tipped, if I think, if I remember correctly, where it's like a lighter sort of like blonde on the ends is what I think frosted looks like. So I am going to, when I go see my mom tomorrow, I think I'll bring a couple of wigs and let her take pictures and then I'll post them for you guys so you can see them. Um, I think she would enjoy the like lighthearted sort of time with that. Thank you so much, Allison. Please keep us up to speed with your mom and continued prayers. Thank you so much, Tony. Seriously, thank you so much. Alrighty. Well, I guess if no one has any more requests at all, I will... I guess call it a night. A perfect description of Frosted. Oh, okay, good. That's what I thought, considering I've never seen it in person. <laughs> Allison, great show as always. Prayers to your mom. Thank you, Angie. Great show, Allison. Have a good night. Thank you, Margaret. Is there an ash blonde platinum with a root? Yes, Sherry, there is. There's actually one called um, platinum shadow. And this is on the style Brianna. I'll put it on for you. Uh, where's the comment? Where'd it go? Fun wig party, Allison. Thank you. Continue, uh, continued prayers. Good night. Thank you, Julia. Thank you so much. Enjoyed it. Please keep us posted. Absolutely, Leanne. I will. Thank you so much, Allison. Thank you, Marlene. Fantastic live. Much love and prayers for your mom. Thank you so much. Yeah, she actually watches your reviews with me. Like, I'll say, like, oh, this is Marlene. Like, I work with her, and she does this stuff like that. So, like, she's like, oh, okay, I know who you're talking about now. Uh, thank you, Allison, for another fantastic wig party. Good thoughts for your mom. Thank you, Diane. Thank you for the great live, Allison. You're fabulous and very generous with your time. Thank you, Lisa. Have a good night, hun. Prayers for your mom. Thank you, Haley. Thoughts and uh, hugs and thoughts for you too, Allison. I know you're, it's stressful when your mom is going through those things like this. We're here with you. Thank you so much, Sharon. Have a blessed, uh, have a blessed and restful sleep for your trip tomorrow. And thank you for doing this show, especially under the circumstances. You're so welcome, Kelly. Like honestly, like I needed this as much as you guys enjoy it. I really wanted like a mental break from it. And this, I find wigs to be fun. <laughs> so. Is there a pinned link to the shop? I can't see if it is there. Um, it should be from what I know. It should be. Oh, thank you, says Marlene. <laughs> yeah, no, I was like, Marlene, she might come, like if like when we she and I do the lives, um, she's always like, oh, Marlene, is that is that the lady that does the reviews and you were on her channel? And I was like, yes, yeah, she's, she gets so excited. Thanks, Allison. Best wishes for healing for your mom. Thank you. Hugs for your mom. Thank you, Sherry. Okay, so my mom also said that apparently if you've ever had open, has, uh, open heart surgery before, which, like, I haven't, apparently they want you, like, up and moving, like, immediately. So, like, you might be in the ICU and be intubated, and as soon as they take it out, they want you, like, up and moving even though you've just had your, you know, 
breastbone like cracked open and everything. So apparently they want her walking like two to like one or two miles a day after it happens. So I told her if she wanted to do lives with me while she's in recovery that we could do those and she could like sit down or stand up, whatever's comfortable. So she should be back pretty, pretty soon, I think. So when she comes back the next time and she's live, it'll be when she's still recovering. And I think she'll really like it if everyone were to like show up and be like, yay, I'm so glad that you're back. Like, so just shh. <laughs> Tell mom I would have given another I would have given her another wig. She didn't have to go through all this stress. Oh my goodness, Charlie. <laughs> She'll probably get a kick out of that. Thank you for posting that, Marlene. Okay, ladies. Well, I guess I will. I don't think I'll probably do a live tomorrow, like I said, with all the traveling and everything. So I will probably see you back next weekend. And depending on her surgery and how things go and picking her up and stuff, I that's kind of up in the air at the moment. Um, because if she's scheduled for surgery on, say, Monday, then she'd probably be out four or five days afterwards, assuming everything goes smoothly. So I may or may not be back weekend. It's kind of playing it by ear at the moment. Hopefully I can because I enjoy it too, but you guys know how it is. Uh, Joe says, I asked the Lord to watch over the surgeon's hands, keep his mind clear, or keep him mind, clear-minded, put an edge of protection, and head, uh, quick to heal, in Jesus' name I am. Thank you so much, Joe. She needs a pretty gray color you showed tonight. Oh, okay, Sherry. I'll definitely bring it so she can try it on. Good night, Marlene. I may try and do a live tomorrow. We'll update you early on the main page, says Shirley. We will miss you both. Send your prayers. Thank you, Leanne. All right, well, good night, ladies. I will see you potentially next weekend. Blessings through your mom and family. Thank you, Sandy. All right. Good night, ladies. I love you all. And thank you for coming here and spending time with me. Like you said, given the circumstance, thank you so much. Bye.